Let's take a look at this petition going around to remove Amber Heard from Aquaman 2. And the thing is, it's almost on 300,000 signatures. When I got home today, it was on about 278,000. It jumped up 2K just in the time I was setting up my computer. You might be thinking, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean so much. Well, in the long run, it might not. She probably won't get removed. She's under contract. But the point is, it's really interesting because it shows public opinion, it shows what the fans think, it shows interest basically in how much people care about it. Game of Thrones petition to have season 8 redone got to 1.7 million. So although it's not going to get redone, that really shows us that a large portion of the fan base was unhappy with what was going on. And then we have to figure the people who didn't sign were also unhappy, or a good portion of them. So, let's take a look at this thing. So, here we see it. We got the big old red mark over Amber Heard. These people don't want her in this movie. And you'll be able to see this move up in real time. And looks like 300,000 is their goal right now, which it looks like they're going to hit pretty soon. Amber Heard has been exposed as a domestic abuser by Johnny Depp in his $50 million lawsuit. Johnny Depp describes many incidents of domestic abuse that he suffered at the hands of his then-wife Amber Heard, including one incident where she punched him twice in the face and another where she shattered his finger with a vodka bottle. And I think that one's kind of the big deal. And his finger had to be surgically reattached. He will bear the scar from that for the rest of his life. Also, Amber Heard was arrested in 2009 for abusing a former domestic partner, Tasia Van Rie, demonstrating... A repeated pattern of abuse by Amber Heard. So, that's a good point. If she's got a history especially, that is pretty good evidence that this was on her side. Mostly, I'm not saying he didn't do things to irritate her. Maybe he did something to her. But getting a finger cut off, I think, is probably far worse than anything. Well, not anything, but you get my drift. It's pretty damn bad. I want to go over this point one more time here about how she also said things about him that were false in their words, repeating multiple accounts of fake incidents in which she had actually abused Johnny Depp, but lied and created false accounts of him being the abuser. Likewise, her recounts fabricated incidents of Johnny Depp hitting her in the face when she had in fact punched him. Though staff and neighbors in the building where she lived reported seeing no marks on her face in the hours and days after she says Johnny Depp hit her. Yet she appeared in court six days later with bruises on her face asking for temporary restraining order, which was granted. Photos of her from the very next day show her full face without makeup and not a single bruise. Sounds like she's fibbing to me. So it seems like Amber Heard pretty much just thought that people would automatically believe her. Now, I got an excuse on this channel. Maybe even two people came by and said, well, that's what Johnny Depp gets for marrying someone so young. And, you know, she's 25. That is young. And I'm not saying, like, you're the man, Johnny. I respect you for that. What I'm saying is, 25 is old enough to know not to cut someone's finger off. It's also old enough to know not to punch someone in the face. If she was 19, all right, maybe 19, 20, 25, sorry. You're way too old to not know right and wrong as far as domestic abuse. As Amber Heard is a known and proven domestic abuser, Warner Brothers and DC Entertainment should and must remove Heard from their Aquaman 2 film project. They must not ignore the suffering of Heard's victims and must not glamorize a domestic abuser, men or victims of domestic abuse just like women, this must be recognized and action must be taken to prevent a known abuser from being celebrated within the entertainment industry. Do the right thing, remove Amber Heard from Aquaman 2. So here's the point I want to bring home. It's the same point about Brie Larson when she says her things about white dudes and she gets her politics involved in winning awards and things like that. You got to think of it this way. How many 25 year old women out there are better than Amber Heard and deserve this part more than she does. Why should she get to be the one who gets this incredible part in a blockbuster movie, all this respect, the money, pick somebody who actually deserves it, who actually should be in this position. That's all I'm saying. Same thing with Brie Larson. Brie Larson has her moments with acting, I'll admit, but there's a lot better people in this world who could play Captain Marvel and will be 
fair and they will be a good person when they accept an award and they won't have to use that platform to spread their own personal agenda and messages. In this case, it's a little bit different, but the point is the same. There's better people than Amber Heard who could be in Aquaman 2. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think about this down below. If you haven't, click the subscribe button. I'm doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that, and I will see you next time.